But for the moment, let's do a bit of uh, results analysis as well. M&M Finance reported weakness in disbursements this quarter, understandably, though the assets under management uh, have risen. Sharp control over OPEX appears to have helped uh, uh, to take care of provisions. Ramesh Ayer, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, m and Financial Services, joins us on the phone line. Good morning, Ramesh. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, can you start by telling us uh, what was the amount of moratorium that has been claimed and uh, what do you smell as a professional? How much of it might default if it did not get a further moratorium? So, you know, even last time we talked about it, I guess uh, about 70-75% of the customers have opted for moratorium. Mm. Uh, the segment which is not really opting for moratorium is self-employed like the local professionals or their teachers, doctors, lawyers mm. or uh, the farmers where they expect the harvest uh, cash flow to come in. Uh, clearly, we've also said in the past, you know, may end moratorium, let's say it doesn't get extended uh, and we are of the opinion moratorium should not be extended, rather reschedulement is what uh, should be given to the companies to do because different consumers possibly want different types of marine mm. Uh But we do believe that, uh, you know, it's not going to be everything normal just from 1st June onwards. Mm. You know, even if things were to normalize by end May, by the time people come back, mm. start to earn, and I'm sure these kind of consumers would have even taken some short-term loan locally from their families or homes they were to survive during mm. this period which they would like to repay first. Mm. So our expectation is it will take at least two or three months more before we can start feeling that, you know, they are back to normal kind of a situation. Okay. And uh, the EMI size, I'm sure, will have to come down because that's not going to be the size of earning, yeah. at least for the next six months to one year until everything really settles down. So which is why we keep saying reschedulement could be a good answer rather mm. than a moratorium extension. That's a fair point. You know the situation on the ground. Uh, well, uh, another question from your angle. Has the cost of money fallen for you? What would be the average cost of money that the markets are telling you in the past one month? And uh, therefore, what? how might margins shape up uh, in the current quarter? So. You know, when we discharge past liability, which were at high cost, yes. and that's one of the reasons why the average cost is also coming down. And clearly, even in this round, mm -hmm. we have seen that the rates have come off. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sub 8% for some of the instruments. And uh, as you know, we have a good mix of money, and therefore, not always guided by just the cost of money. We are also very conscious of ALM matches. Uh, but nevertheless, the cost has come down. And the margins are definitely likely to improve, though not substantially, because there are no fresh disbursement anyways. So therefore, uh, you know, there would be a slight move upward, 25, 30 basis point, maybe going up to 40 basis point. But that would be over a period of time. Definitely cost of money does help in this situation. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ayer, good morning. You know, we were just speaking with Dr. Pavan Goenka of m and a while back and he said that the demand recovery, especially in pockets like tractors, has been faster than what he expected. Um, you guys finance the tractor side as well. How is the situation on the ground and are you see, expecting to see a pickup in disbursements over the next few quarters? So, next three months, uh, except for tractors, clearly we do see demand out there. Uh, but uh, for other vehicles, I would think will take a little longer. And uh, my own uh, assessment is tractor would be the first, of course, followed by pre-owned vehicle could see, uh, see traction for sure. Then small pickup vehicles, small LCVs, you know, three-wheelers for good, small goods carrier. You know, these kind of segments will show pickup. I think personal segment could take a little longer. And commercial vehicle, of course, will take even more, uh, much more time. So that would be the sequence. But as I said, between June to August, September, I don't think we are seeing a very big disbursement demand coming in because monsoons will hit. Anyway, these are not big months for business. Um, I think sometime post-September, that is uh, around the festival season, one should start seeing things to improve. Again, it's important to note it will not be uniform across the country. Uh, green zones will definitely show much more traction. Uh, the amber would show that red zones could take a little longer until things really shape up better because the sentiments and confidence will have to return there. Now, assuming rescheduling and all is not given, just assuming, what is the cash mismatch for you for the next quarter? 
No, so as I said, since there we don't expect major disbursements to happen, okay. we are very comfortable from a cash flow okay. perspective okay. in order to discharge liability and to interest as well as meet the fixed expense. Okay. That's not a problem for six months at least. Okay. Oh, oh good to hear that. I guess so. So Reserve Bank is counting on people like you, which is why they didn't in the first round extend moratorium at all for the NBFCs. Uh, my, uh, Ramesh, thank you very much for joining us. We will invite you yet again for a more detailed discussion on the rural economy and the semi-urban economy. Uh, for the moment, we just want to quickly wrap up on earnings because the markets are in bad shape. We'll take a break and...